Madison Hebbard here for CHTV. The place to be seen and heard today is Toowoomba Carnival of Flowers with Adam Liao in the kitchens. Hi, it's Madison from CHTV right here in Toowoomba with Adam Liao. Adam, welcome. A fantastic day. Are you excited about Toowoomba Carnival of Flowers? Very much so. It's a beautiful day for us today. We've had amazing weather all weekend and today is no exception. Now, Adam, I understand your uh, grandmother had a huge influence on your cooking. Yes. Uh, but also um, your diverse Asian background with your mother and father being Malay, Chinese, Singaporean. Mm. Do you believe that had a big influence in oh, your starting course. cooking? Of course. You know, you, you, you fall in love with the food that you grow up eating and we grew up mm. eating uh, Malaysian Chinese food uh, for the most part and um, then when I moved to Japan uh, when I was in my early 20s that was another another thing again learning a whole new cuisine. Yes and you must be a very clever man because I do know you have a double degree um, at 21 that would must have been a nice birthday present for you which was um, <laughs> in Adelaide actually that you got that degree was it? Yes yes I've uh, got degrees in law and science and worked as a lawyer for about 12 years. Do you apply that at all in your cooking? <laughs> <laughs> I don't see how you can. I mean, the, the science part is very important for cooking, I think, um, but the law side, not so much. Okay, all right. So, um, do you enjoy the path that your cooking has delivered you on and taking you to all these places, you know, throughout the world? Yeah, of course, of course. It's, it's fantastic. You know, it's a, it's a mm. wonderful opportunity when you get to travel and explore different cultures through food. Is this your first time to Toowoomba? It is, it is. It's a wonderful place. And can I ask, did you know where Toowoomba was? I did. <laughs> I did. Uh, you know, I've, I have lots of friends in Brisbane and they, they I have, I have, one of my best friends always says that he would love to live in Toowoomba and so uh, I was f finally glad to be able to come here. Being the largest inland city in uh, Australia, have you noticed a change or have you heard about the change in the cuisine in Toowoomba and, and how diverse it has got now multiculturally? Well, I, I did notice that going through the parade of uh, flowers yesterday. It was a really diverse and multicultural community that was all mm. coming out and seeing what was happening. I had a, had a, a fantastic Chinese meal here last night as well. Oh, did so you? I did, I did. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, and this is another thing. I mean, bringing these cultures into Toowoomba, it's an exciting time because you're introducing all these new flavours that, mm. you know, we're really, we really want to try. So... Well, I mean, that, that's Australian cuisine. Australian cuisine is, I think, the most multicultural in the world, and we do Asian cuisines incredibly well here, better than anywhere else, to be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, your family is simply beautiful. I've seen oh, many photos. And I really loved reading about how you like seeing the world through your children's eyes. <laughs> um, Christopher and Anna, I mean, they are just a pair of angels, I must say. No, you don't know them that well. No, well, do you know I, what? I'm joking. Yeah, they, they are fantastic. They're, they're really great kids. I kind of thought you might say that. <laughs> Every Tell parent me, would, you know. What's um, the latest experience that they've introduced you to, either food-wise that they're excited about, or something that they've seen and you were like, "Wow, they've introduced me to some, reintroduced me to something." It, it's always the most simple things, you know. When you grow up, you kind of forget how to be excited about things all the time. And you know, my wife and I took the mandarin picking at the, the start of the season this this winter and they were just so amazed that they could pull fruit off a tree, peel it and eat it. They'd never really seen it before. You know, as a three-year-old, you don't really get out onto the fruit trees that much. And we only have sort of citrus that you can't really eat. So we have lemons and limes and things that you can't eat. And they were amazed at just the fact that you could pull fruit off a tree and eat it. And I just was like, wow, I, that is amazing actually. Well, <laughs> Right here in the Lockyer Valley, Adam, you really need to experience the fact that we've got broccoli and, and cabbages growing right on the side of the road here. <laughs> and only down the road a little way is Stanthorpe, which I'm not sure if you know how much about that. It's a wine growing territory and mm. they've got some of the best apples. Amazing. So mm. I think you should definitely take your children on a journey to Stanthorpe. <laughs> I'm partial to good apple. Oh, good. <laughs> um, like you do, you're very fortunate to have a big shining smile, may I say. <laughs> And through every destination that life's taking you through, you've been smiling. Is there somewhere that you're really yearning to experience, like either just to see or to try the food? There's lots of places. You know, yeah. I, I'd love to go through Russia. I think that sort of Central European cuisine can be really, mm. really interesting. Um, I'd also love to, to travel more in Africa. I've only mm. really been to the very far north of Africa and the very far south. I'd love to see what it's what it's like through the middle, I guess, yes. um, when it's safe to do so. But to be honest, as someone who's on the road, I'm on the road about nine months of the year. Wow. Uh, 
my favourite destination is home. home. I, yeah. <laughs> I just love to be home when I can be. i got to say, when you're on a plane and they say that, that's one of my favourite things. We're going to the best destination in the world right now, home. Yeah. That's one of the favourite <laughs> things for pilots to say. Yes. So, just in closing, could you tell me, this is a hard one for you, what is your favourite spice? Oh, gosh. Uh... To be honest, I don't use a lot of spices in my food. I mean, I, I, I use chilli because that's something that I like. So I guess I, it would probably have to be chilli, but um, I, I, we cook a lot of Japanese food at home and Japanese food doesn't really use spices at all. It's, it's a very simple and... Clean. Yeah, pared back style of cooking that I really enjoy. And so yeah, when I do get into a bit more spicy type food, it's just regular old chilli for me. A bit okay. of basil maybe. <laughs> well we've got to have a chilli farm just down the hill from here. I um, don't know if you've tried the seat and fire chilli chocolate. I, I, I had. Oh good, good. That's good because that's a, <laughs> that is a local delicacy around Lovely. here. Lovely. <laughs> that was great. Terrific. Well Adam, thank you so much for a CHTV interview today. Um, that's a, a wrap for us. Thank you so much. Thank you very much CHTV and thank you Toowoomba for having me. Thank you. Um, We've had a great time with Adam Liao in say, the kitchen at Toowoomba Carnival Flowers. Thank you. That's it for CHTV, the place to be seen and heard. Thank <laughs> you.